Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we are jumping into Cradle of Chaos, Caverns of Nightmare Level 1. The idea of these videos is to show you how you can get one of the best scores possible, what teams to use, how to use them, so you can place higher on the leaderboard. So most of these teams are end game teams, but keep in mind the series is specifically made to get people as many points as possible. So we'll jump into Level 1 and I'll show you everything you need to do. Jumping into mission number one, we are using Omphus and Siri, and we are simply going to go for Siri's AoE ability and one shot the entire team. So we're going to go ahead, use her second ability, and it will kill everyone. Now, on the screen, you can see my Siri is gear level 15, but in terms of what I have seen used, I have seen gear 14s used as well. But keep in mind, like I said, we're going for the best scores possible, which requires pretty decently geared heroes. Moving into mission number two, we are using Superior and only Superior. So she's already making an appearance in Cradle of Chaos. She actually has a really nice kit for Cradle of Chaos. So not surprising. We're going to go ahead and use our second ability. And it one-shots people. Now, keep in mind, if it doesn't one-shot people, she gets a counter-attack buff on her. So when she's attacked, she will strike back with her basic ability. So if it's not as strong as mine, which isn't that strong, it's gear 11... Completely max arcane stars, yes, I know, but if it's a little weaker than that and it's not killing them in one shot, you could potentially get the kill with the counter attack. Jumping into mission number three, and we are using a gear 14 maxed out Tiona. This one is a complete gear check. You need to have your Tiona as strong as possible. Jumping into combat, we're going to go ahead and use our second ability first and clear the first wave. Moving into the second wave, we'll use our third ability and clear it up that is the wave that needs the gear check it is such a tanky wave that if you do not have the right requirements you are just not going to one shot it it is just not possible from what i have seen so you could potentially do it in more than one turn with a weaker tiona but if you are after that perfect score your tiona needs to be at least gear 14 so just keep that in mind Jumping into mission number four, we are using Freyhel, Starvold, Gerda, Stealthy, and Pride with the Starvold leader. The idea here is it's one wave. We're going in, we're doing Freyhel's third with support attack from Stealthy. And then if anyone is around after that, Gerda will come through with her bonus damage when her turn begins. Jumping in, we're going to go ahead and use Freyhel's third ability, get as much damage out as possible. And the Stealthy comes through with the support attack. And in this case, Gerda's not even needed. But we get a one-turn kill. Moving into the final mission, we're using a Valar leader, Librarian, Astoria, and Tristan. And we are looking for two turns. Jumping in, we are going to go ahead and use the AoE from the Tristan. And then moving into the second wave, we're going to go ahead and use Librarian's AoE and get the kill beautiful two turns finishing level one and giving us a score of 393 that is how you get one of the best scores for level one caverns of nightmare like i said there are some nodes there where it's quite intensive on the gear check but if you're after that score that is what you need anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below i will answer it to the best of my ability and we're around the world until next time please take care of yourself